your birthday. Someone gives you a calfskin wallet. I wouldn't accept it. Also, I'd report the person who gave it to me to the police. You've got a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. I take him to the doctor. Uh, 25 years ago, we opened to a pretty disappointing, you know, result. And in fact, I would say it, was, it wasn't disastrous, but it wasn't good. Uh, it wasn't disastrous because there was a, obviously some kind of cult or fan base of the, you know, the hardcore science fiction guy, people in there who actually really liked it a lot. And that was, you know, nice, but what I'd missed was the big audience. And um, the film took on, honestly, an evolution of its own, a life of its own. Behind my back, it was gradually emerging, probably because of the fan base, probably because of VHS, the, mar the growing mar market for that, and then most of all, the DVD market. And so gradually it started to take off and it's not to where we are right now, which is where I was asked by the studio about a year ago, do I want to actually put out a version as it was intended? And that's what we've done. It's taken a long time. I had been inspired by um, the Werner Herzog Nosferatu, and, and I was an usher at a film festival in my little town in Colorado and, and um, they had shown that film and so I got inspired by that movie um, and that's how I came up with the look of the character and, and Ridley was really amazing because he allowed for that collaboration and interpretation and he actually requested it. I mean, we, everyone who was screen testing for the various parts had to come up with their own character and their own look and everything and, um, and so that was really fun. Um, I, you know, knocked myself out when my when I was dying because it was a big old pillar next to the next to my head, and I, I was doing. He said, "Well, could, could you just like maybe shake a little and die, and then I go into this full-on seizure and knock myself unconscious." <laughs> Of course, the funny thing with the dove was that, you know, of course, I was, I was hoping that when I would let go of the dove, that it would just go, you know. And the thing was that I don't know why, but the dove didn't feel like flying. So when I, when I, you know, went like this, and I let go of the dove, the dove just laid in my hand like dead. And so I shook it a little bit, <laughs> and then he just got up and. And stepped on my leg and then, you know, walked away instead of flying away. So that's why that moment is a bit tricky. But uh, it works. It still works very well. Um, but I didn't like the dub. He should have. He should have performed better. That's for sure. Uh, I think that uh, Harrison Ford at that moment had done three of the most prolific films, not prolific, but uh, I should say the most commercially viable films ever made. It's, he did two Star Wars, and he did uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and then he did this. And uh, they were wanted us. They had seen him as a swashbuckling, uh, you know, character for. And in this one, he does. He gets, he shoots women. He uh, gets beat up. He is constantly bemoaning his life. He never does anything outwardly heroic. He's constantly just trying to stay alive. And uh, therefore, it's not the hero that he had been portrayed for so many years and in such a strong way and uh, so I don't think his audience really liked the film at all and it took them quite a few years to come around and understand that his work on this was really classical very very strong piece of dramatic work that I was uh, possibly being um, uh, positioned as a replicant, I would, I would seek out Ridley and argue against it. Because it was my notion that in context of this world, the audience needed an emotional representative on, on screen that they, that they could depend on uh, being a human being. Maybe it's the one holdout that I, I don't want to know about. 
And I'm sure Ridley told me at some point. I just, I conveniently forgot it. So that I can have that as one dangling piece of guesswork. Mystery is fun.